Okay, in a previous video, I did a, a previous video about neutralizing the tubes on a Kenwood TS520. It would be the same on an 820. And there was a few comments that people were not able to get the S meter on their second receiver to dip when they tried to neutralize the tubes. So, um, I went out there and uh, did a little research out there and found something that is much more effective than what I had originally, whereas you were just leaving the dummy load connected and trying to uh, neutralize the tubes. Okay, so if you've done the other video, I don't want to go into complete depth. I mean, you're going to, again, you're going to tune this to 28.50. You're going to make sure that the IP bias is set to 60 when it's in sideband, 60 milliamps. Then you're going to do your normal tune-up procedure on 28.5, starting with tune, then into CW till you have full power, okay? And uh, keep your IP on full power um, about less, 250 or less. So if you're cranking too hard, turn that carrier down. So you're right around 200, 225 on the IP, okay, on the meter. All right, so you've done that. You got maximum power on that. And this is where it's going to get different, okay? Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip this switch to tune. And this is really important before you do what I tell you to next. The SG switch, it needs to go down Look at it three times and make sure that switch is down or there will be some really undesirable results that will happen. And I'm not responsible for it. I'm telling you again, but make sure it's down. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a, uh, here it is, I'll just put it here on the table. It's a two foot piece of insulated wire out of 12-2 Romex electrical wire. I just took one of the pieces out. You can use the wire cord, doesn't matter. So you've got uh, one of the pieces. It's like I said, two, it's not critical. Two feet, two and a half. And um, so what you're gonna do with one end, you're gonna strip one end about an inch off and bend that over and crimp it down. This will fit nicely into the SO239 on the transmitter. On the other end, do not strip it, but put some uh, heat shrink tubing over the end of it because it's still going to have that end of the wire bare where you cut it. We can't have that with what we're going to do. Okay. So what you're actually going to do is you're going to take the stripped end. You're going to stick that into the SO239 on the back of the transmitter. Then you're going to have your receiver about two feet away, you know, as far as you can, so this will reach. And you're gonna put the insulated, or the uh, the heat shrink tubing into the SO239 on the receiver. This is going to create sort of kind of like a, a dummy capacitor, all right, this wire. So this is, this works actually pretty effectively. So now, you're gonna tune this to the same frequency, 28.5, and, um, you're going to basically, uh, if you've got 520 you're using one, put it on fast and turn the RF gain up a bit. It's not going to slam the meter, but it's probably going to almost peg it. In this case, it almost pegged it. So uh, just turn up the RF gain a bit. You can off tune. So get that. I like the meter about halfway to three quarter. So if you off tune, it'll obviously start dropping. And then I can kind of look at it. Okay, so again, the SG switch off in tune go ahead and flip that up and then doing your do your neutralization with an insulated tool i repeat insulated not a not a static rotten a screwed or any of that none of that crap okay find that thing start tuning very slowly go one direction and look at that meter and if you're not seeing a dip Go slowly the, the other direction, turn it, and you'll see that meter dip. Get that to the maximum, minimum S meter reading. Okay, 
when you got that, you've got those tubes neutralized. Then uh, having done all that, go ahead and turn this off, unplug it, turn everything off here. Uh, go ahead and pull that wire out. If you're gonna test and see if everything's working great, hook your dummy load back up, flip your SG switch up, and you should be good to go. So I hope that helps people out a little bit more that we're having problems where just it just they just weren't getting a, a minimum reading when they were connected to uh, to a dummy load. Okay, thanks for watching.